Hi, this is Asin. You are now watching Asin Mac TV. Today, we'd like to share how to form least square regression line for two-factor multiple regression using calculator. To obtain the coefficients, we need sum of squares, which means that we need the summations. To do so, press on menu and look for the statistics function that is 6. Choose 2 for linear regression. Let x1 be x. Enter all the values. We have 5 equal, 8 equal, 11, 19, 25, 52. Press right and up. Back to the first row of column Y. Enter all the values. 4 equal, 22, 50, 81, 143, and 252. Press on AC option. Choose 2 for 2 variable calculation. Let's check the values that we need. Don't forget, we have to calculate the constant of the regression line, which means that we need the mean value of x. Besides, we need summation x, summation x squared. Press on the down button, the n value, mean of y, summation y, y squared, down again to obtain summation xy. Next, press on AC, option, down, and choose 2 for variable. We need the variance of the variable x. Choose 2, and we have 6 pairs, so multiply 6. Press on equal, and we obtain the sum of square for the variable x. Then, press on option, down, to variable. This time, we should choose the variance of y, that is 8. Also, multiply 6, and we should obtain the sum of squares for y. Next, press on option, choose data, and this time, I will let x2 be x. So, change the values. We have 30 equal 32, 24, 8. 12 and 7. Press on AC option to variable calculation. We need the mean value, the summation x and summation x squares. Down and down to obtain the summation of xy. Next, press on AC option down to variable. We need the variance of x. Multiply 6 and we obtain the sum of squares for the variable x2. Next, press on option data. This time, I will let x1 be y. Let's enter the values. We have 5, 8, 11, 19, 25, and 52. AC, option, two variable calculations. Down and down, and we should obtain the summation of the product. With all these values, let's obtain the sum of squares of the product of two variables. Press on AC, then let's reset the calculator. AC, for the first sum of squares, we have 18,964 minus, press on the fraction key, we need 120 multiply 552 and down divided by 6, press on equal and we obtain the value. Second sum of squares, 6,962 minus fraction 123 multiplying 552 divided by 6 equal obtain the value next 1676 minus fraction 120 multiply 123 divided by 6 and we obtain negative 784 with all this sum of squares we can now determine the coefficients let's copy the value according to the formula for sum of squares for the variable x1 and y, we should put it here. x2, y, put it here. x1, x2, x1 square, and x2 square. By using calculator, we should be able to obtain the value. 495.5 multiply 7924 minus negative 784 multiply negative 4354 and divided by 1500 multiply 
0.5 minus 784 squared. Since this is a square, which means that positive or negative is not important. Press on equal, and we should obtain the coefficient of the first factor. Repeat the same step, and we should obtain the coefficient of the second factor. Let's substitute the values, and we should be able to obtain the constant, and hence form the regression line. Next, let's determine the R square by using the formula. Substitute the values accordingly. B1 put it here, B2 put it here, sum of squares for the variables x1 and y, put it here, x2 and y, put it here, and also the sum of squares for y. Use calculator and we should obtain the all square, and hence we then. Okay, that's all for this video, thanks for watching, hope you like this, see you!